Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the whole month of December, so if it doesn't resonate right now, because it's not really for right now, it's for the month of December, the whole month. Check it on December 6th, 7th, and check it around the 23rd to see if it resonates then. Okay, so this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, I focus on love. We're going to see whatever comes up. This is my second reading. I just did one for you. It was like 35 minutes long, but I've, I've, it was, there's a lot of mixed emotions in that reading. Really, really up and down. Like, I'm ready to move on, but I'm really sad. It's hard to let go, but I know I need to. And you're starting to see the light. You're making progress and you're moving in a new direction. It's like something has died. Another thread has been cut, you know? Another lifeline has been cut. And it's like you guys are moving in a new direction that you never wanted to go in in the first place, but now you're, it's like you're being forced to go in that new direction, okay, to start over. And I think you're accepting it because the last card I pulled was the Ace of Swords upright, accepting the truth. So you guys are, are heading in a new direction, it looks like, because you're seeing some sort of truth. It's like you've woken up, gone through some sort of awakening. Action! Yes, you're taking action. Now, somebody could be coming after you, or you could be going after them, and it's like you can't get away. You can't get away from this person. Something is happening, and it's happening fast. It's like somebody is after you, or you're after them, and they're right on your tail. So, that's for somebody. Somebody is chasing another person, okay? It's like the chase is on or the chase has been on and I saw the chase in the other reading you know but it's like somebody was just giving up the chase so I don't know let's see what comes up Libra what does Libra need to know for the month of December now remember this isn't a private reading we get these people that watch these readings that simply don't understand if the reading doesn't resonate with you, it's because it's not for you. And they, there's hundreds of other choices that you can choose. We had him, which is, is probably you, you, especially if you're the Libra male, making the decision. And then the other reading as well, somebody has made a decision to take action and move in a different direction. So, oh, both of, both of these, but they were both reversed in the last one. So it looks, both of you, both of you are standing in your power. Now there is a soulmate connection here and it, it's very evident that there is a soulmate connection here. But it looks as though this soulmate connection is dissolving as what I saw in the other one, but we'll see what comes up. For this one. The Emperor. This is taking control. This could also be a father figure or a boss or somebody in authority. There's definitely, I see some power struggles here as to who's in control. needing to be objective and you need to be open to a new perspective okay a new perspective a new objective you need to see something differently there's a reason why things happen that's what i'm trying to say something hasn't led to victory and success for a reason It's because these two people aren't really working together. They're not looking at each other. They're not communicating. 
both wanting to be in control, both trying to be the boss. And in a relationship, there are there is no boss. Therefore, there's no forward movement. There's nothing happening with these two people because it's blocking any success. The fact that both of these people, the man and the woman in this relationship, both think that they're the head honcho. The power struggles over head honcho status. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or we also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. But we have somebody that is absolutely giving up. This person lacks desire to put in any more effort, feeling, uh, I, don't, I don't have any energy left for this. Somebody's absolutely giving up on a situation. I don't, I don't care about it. I don't care about it. Could be the man. We could we the, the the man the male in this dynamic is probably like I don't have any passion left. I don't have any energy left. I don't have any desire left. I don't have any focus left. I I don't care about this. There's a lack of wish fulfillment here. A lack of abundance. Ego has absolutely gotten in the way, and it has for everybody involved. For the man and the woman, ego has been huge. Sorry to say, has. Big power struggles as to who's the dominant factor in the relationship. And it's blocked, blocked to victory and success. Whew! Definite soulmate connection. Okay? Definite. The king and queen of wands and the king and queen of swords. So we have definitely have a soulmate connection here. And there's definitely, I think there's, there's, uh, it's a big mess now. I think it's a big mess now. I think there's more people, there's more people involved than really, really need to be. There's a lot of people involved here, okay? Too many fingers in the pie. Definitely too ma many fingers in the pie. He might have another woman. She might have another man. <laughs> And now there's uh, grieving going on. There's some sort of loss. I mean, there's some sort of emotional loss here because somebody is giving up on a connection. I'm giving up because I can't deal with these power struggles anymore. If I can't dominate this situation, then I don't need to be here. Somebody is grieving the loss because they refuse to see that it's all about love and not pride I think I think the woman in this dynamic is regaining her focus she's taking back her power the woman in this dynamic is doing whatever it she can do to regain, to relight that fire within her, to go down a new path, to bring growth into her life, to get creative. She's being strong. She's finding courage. She's being honest. She's waking up. I do think that we have a woman here that is waking up because there's a man. There is a man, and this could go vice versa. It really could because they're all here. So we, I'm going to say a man, but it could be the woman in the same with because the, they're all here. We have somebody that is very controlling, big time, very controlling, very manipulative, um, lazy, uh, conceited, self-centered, that isn't going to budge. And somebody is beginning to realize that this person is never going to budge. It doesn't lead, lead to wish fulfillment. It doesn't lead to victory. 
and they're about to remove that obstacle. I'm about to break free from this. It looks like somebody is about to stop lying to themselves about something, something that they have been grieving over for quite some time. Somebody is not wanting to put in any more effort, no more communication. No more communication. Communication is being blocked or it's about to be blocked. And I think it's because there's another person. There's another, there's, like I said, there's two, definitely too many fingers in the pie here. There's another person involved and somebody is coming to realize or beginning to realize or truly realizing that it's time for me to head in a new direction and go someplace else. Go after somebody else because this person is never going to change. Yes, it's like I've sacrificed myself for too long. This is never going to be stable. It's never going to work out. It's never going to... be real and they've they've lived in some sort of they've delayed it and postponed it and stayed where they're at and been miserable and restless and discontent for long enough somebody has stayed in a period of stagnation per se and you know just delaying 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 happiness because they were trapped in their mind about this person who didn't really bring them wish fulfillment, but they thought they did. It was a big game. It was a game. It was a game. Damn it. A lot of tension between these two people. So I think that this month there's some sort of block in communication. Somebody is deciding. They're making the decision to stop hanging on to a false foundation. To stop sacrificing themselves. Somebody has woken up. It's like the Great Awakening. This person is a loss. And they're a player. And somebody is coming to that realization that they can't keep playing. These are both games. It's a game. It's a game. I can't play this game anymore. Removing that obstacle. So that they can bring balance back to your, their lives. So you guys are working on bringing balance back to your lives. It looks as though there's some sort of soulmate connection that is... no longer emotionally fulfilling you know it's no longer the cup is no longer full it's going away we have many soulmates in a lifetime and i have to tell you that soulmate connections can be a father okay it can be a father it can be a sister it can be a mother it can be a best friend it can be anybody i mean it can be somebody that you are really really close to you felt like you've known before it could be a partner, it could be anybody, but it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be anybody. There, I think there's an end of a soulmate connection here. Somebody is deciding to make some compromises and stop delaying this change. This change has been delayed for so freaking long. Because we have a female, by the looks of things, that hasn't, she's seen herself as a victim and she hasn't nurtured herself. She hasn't loved herself enough to say, I'm worth more than this. She hasn't been able to master her emotions. She's been crying a lot. So yeah, we have a female here that has, or, you know, it looks like a female to me, but we have somebody here that has...
lost that loving feeling. Or they're so in love that they can't move on. You know, they can't master their emotions. It could go either way. This woman, sometimes she loves so much that she doesn't, she's not realistic. She's ungrounded. She's just, she doesn't even realize that she's not being practical. So this could go both ways. This could be a woman that's cold and withdrawn. Either way, this woman's cold and withdrawn at this time, yes. We have a woman here that is withdrawing and isolating herself because she's not getting the love that that she wants and she's reluctant to move on from it and she's been reluctant to move on from it for quite some time but it looks as though this obstacle is about to be removed because there's a new opportunity. There is a new opportunity. Somebody, somebody new is coming in. A new partnership. And now we have the, the, the choice. The twos. And the, this two and this two. The choice. The change. Somebody has delayed for quite some time. Not mastering their emotions. And now we have two, 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 two. It's about partnerships. Now they have an opportunity for a new partnership with somebody new. This person is going to help you to heal. This person is a mirror it's a noose that's why there's two soulmate connections that makes sense because there's a new soulmate connection coming in there was one here then we have another one so like i said we have many soulmates in a lifetime there's a new soulmate connection coming in for you libra After you've been left out in the cold for so long, you've been led astray perhaps by this person, I don't know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could be the new person that is offering you something solid, something stable, something long term. You have a new offer coming in from somebody that can take very, very, very good care of you, and they, they're going to be so gentle with you and treat you like a queen. They're going to baby you. But this is after you come out of this period of darkness, you know. You come out of that victim mentality. You've been left out in the cold by this soulmate. Yes, there's one soulmate connection that has been left to die and now we have a new opportunity for love here libra with a new soulmate what you deserve it's exactly what you deserve this person is going to bring balance and harmony back to your life they are they're going to they're going to give equal amount they're going to reciprocate like i said they're going to treat you so well they're going to help you to break free from this situation that you have delayed they are they are they're going to help you to heal the wounds that were left you have you have some healing person coming into your life that is going to help you to heal from the wounds that you have encountered from this last soulmate that left you in the cold you have a new one coming in that is going to hold your hand and treat you like a queen And it's because you, you love yourself. It's because you see your worth. It's because you are abundant. It's because you deserve it. You're receiving something, absolutely. Something very abundant. And it's because of all the hard work that you've put in. The storm is over. The time is ripe for you to get this new partnership. You've been out in the cold and alone for long enough. Waiting for this person to come back around. You've done a lot of healing work and it's like, maybe this is somebody that's passed away. This could even be a father figure. I don't know. I keep thinking it's a father. I don't know why. I do. 
is bringing these two people together. And this could signify passed away as well. The Ace of Cups can signify passed away. So I'm wondering if somebody sees that you weren't getting your wishes fulfilled. And in my last reading, I had 333. Three, three. So 333, three, three, your prayers have been heard. So your prayers have been heard. So I think that your prayers are about to be answered with a new partnership. Somebody that is well suited for you. And it's because you stop investing in something that has no growth. Yeah, I think that you are no longer going to hang on to this dissatisfying situation in which there's no victory and success. Somebody new is coming in. Somebody is coming after you very quickly. And I think you're going to probably accept their offer. Destined change, of course. Free will plays a part. I think that you guys have made the decision to take steps in a new direction and let somebody catch you. And I think somebody is right on your tail and they're about to get you. They're going to get you good. And you're probably going to fall in love. So I see, I really feel like there is a new love connection here. that is destined to happen at this time and this person is going to help you to heal they are so yeah I see a new love connection here with somebody that is brought to you I think from somebody who's above you know I, I don't know maybe the father introduces you or it's a father that's passed away or something like that Whoever this person is, they can take very, very good care of you. They're going to put in equal effort. They're going to bring balance to your life. They're going to help you to heal. They're going to help you to remove those, those uh, swords from your back. And they're going to bandage you up. And they're going to baby you. They are going to baby you. Because they see your beauty. They see your worth. And it's time for you to close that chapter from the past. Pay attention to the red flags. You had this one in the last one. The signs are cautioning you. You did. This is an opportunity to break free. To break free from the, de from the person that deceived you. You are being given the opportunity for a new connection. A new soulmate connection. Don't let your fears hold you back, please. Don't think that this person that left you in your coal in the cold is going to come back. They're gone. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. It absolutely is. You have an opportunity for new love. Somebody is going to come after you like stink on shit. And they're really 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 You're gonna be a perfect match. I mean, take a look at them, people. They they they're like perfect for each other. It's what you've been waiting for. Gentle. It's gonna be so easy. So yeah. Be prepared for somebody to chase you and catch you and fall in love with you. And that's what I see. Somebody's deciding to close a chapter and step outside of their comfort zone. Destined change. New chapter, new, new soulmate connection. I mean, what more can I say? This person is not your usual type. This person, person could be of a different culture. This person could be of a different nationality, okay? This person is not your usual type, but they are your perfect match. So be prepared to receive some sort of
Well, I don't know what. It must be communication. But this is movement. It's movement. It's action. Somebody's chasing another person. They're chasing. Somebody is about to come after you. They're coming to get you. Somebody wants you. They're coming to get you. Swiftly. Quickly. Sweep you off your feet. Roll around in the hay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, that's what I see. I, th I see a new opportunity for love with a perfect match. New soulmate. Brand new. Good luck, Libra.